A little depressing. I was hoping Bernie would do better in some of the states. Um, it was a little uh, exciting and depressing at the same time. His campaign staff is one of the most diverse campaign staffs of any, 75% women, and I think it was like something like 45% minorities. And um, so, and he has, he is creating, as he said tonight, a multi generational, multi ethnic, um, you know, grassroots uprising that is, you know, um, long overdue in this country. I'm just really excited for what's going to come up soon and Bernie Sanders to be in the White House. And I think that Bernie Sanders has what it takes and he has the vote of the people. You know, I was really excited about the rally. I've seen Bernie a couple times. Um, he's, he always puts on a really good, uh, he, he always does really, really well. Um, he excites the crowd. I think there's a lot of, that has happened with the, with, with the last couple days with people pulling out. I think Biden's corporate. I think he, he you know, he's got something going on. I think the other candidates who dropped out, um, it's, it's all a game and, and it's corporate. It's all about the money. I don't think people really know what Biden's running on. You know, I don't know his policies. When he, when he speaks at rallies, when he does interviews, you know, he was in New Hampshire. He thought he was in Vermont. Um, he told his supporters at a rally that, vote for me because I'm running for Senate. Oh yeah, and president, forgot. You know, he just doesn't seem to be strong. Um, and I think people are gonna worry about that.